what we're gonna do tonight is show you guys how to do a remote playback on the IVNS4500, the older app. First thing you want to do, select these three. Sorry about that. Select these three bars on the top left. Next, remote playback. What you want to select next now is the three, the two camera symbols on the top right. Tap that. You want to tap the from field or the from box at the top at the bottom well, we're just gonna search for 2018 January 1st at 9 and we're gonna tap the second two and we want to search for two hours next you're gonna select anywhere there or anywhere down here so you want to tap either of these bars then you select the camera obviously I have multiple cameras listed here or multiple systems I want to select I want to watch Miami on that day obviously not the Miami as in United States I'm gonna look at camera 4 and then we're gonna start live view as you can see there at the bottom two hours have been searched and presented on the screen here to show camera four what next you can do you can pause it or you can swipe at the bottom you can swipe this blue bar to the left to make the speed the footage go further here we go so we're gonna go to 10 p.m. and there you go bear in mind port 554 has to be forwarded for this to work and port 8000 or whatever port you have set it to next you can take a snapshot of that or if something has happened here all you do is select the scissor to crop or cut a piece of the footage if you press the scissor you can see what happened is the R comes on the top right left of that image and that means it's recording that snippet press the scissor again it comes off that now is saved in your picture and photo there at the top you can share this out to YouTube or wherever you wish or you can upload this to the cloud so you have a copy of any event so that's how you do a remote playback on the IVMS 4500 what about the new one, the Hick Connect app? Let's see if we can do a remote playback on the Hick Connect app. First, you need to log into the the device, and then next, you want to tap on one of the cameras. Next. You want to tap there's three dots at the top and go to playback here now the difference with this is it uh, it doesn't give you a blue line anymore from what I think all you do is you put the date you want so the date is here you select the date you want so if you want to go back to anywhere else first you go you 
move it like that oh it does give you a blue line this one and that's obviously January the 1st 12 midnight how do you slide this bar to the right and it quickly updates as you can see so that's basically how to remote playback in the hick connect if you want to record a video of what's going on there you press that as you can see just like the IBM S4500 now it's on the right hand side red dot blinking that's not recording that footage so, tap that and there it is you can go and review it here is put it in your pictures and video if you want you can take a picture again it's there on the left it goes back into that storage location you can make the video go speed the video up to 16x okay that now the video is moving at 16x you can slow it back down to 1x press the okay here that has done that you can zoom in pinch zoom or zoom back out there's many features you can do on your app you just need to play with them them thank you very much for watching like and subscribe remember g unit i'm out